America is closer this morning to change at the ballot box. Nationwide, only 36 percent of registered voters last year showed up to cast a ballot. Los Angeles County is home to the most voters in the country, but it uses technology more than 50 years old. Carter Evans shows us how campaign of innovation could spread across the U.S. There's a couple of rules for brainstorming that we've learned over the years. In this unorthodox Silicon Valley workspace. If in doubt, write it and share it. A team of developers is trying to change the way we vote by first determining how we want to vote. Let's attach an elastic band to the ballot. Blaze Bertrand leads the team at design firm IDEO, which encourages out-of-the-box thinking. Could you just have a hand on and... It's a totally different approach. Very different approach. IDEO's human-centered approach is responsible for creating some of the most innovative products in our lifetime, from Apple's first computer mouse to a talking automatic defibrillator. These guys are working on the ballot box. And I think for the past two years, percent. they've been developing a new voting machine for Los Angeles County. Historically, voting systems in this country haven't been designed with the voter in mind. Dee Logan is the registrar recorder for Los Angeles County, where 5 million registered voters currently cast ballots on these ink-based machines. This is the same, essentially, voting booth that was used uh, since 1968. L.A. County was just one of a few jurisdictions that did not digitize its voting machines after the 2000 presidential election, when the world watched as the fate of the next president hung on a chad. Shortly after, Congress allocated more than $3 billion to replace the outdated machines. But now those machines are outdated, running on computers developed before the first iPhone. So how do you design a system that you can keep up to date that may work 10 or 20 years? I think you learn from some of the ways that, that we've designed cell phones. And that's what IDEO has done, creating a new voting machine for the smartphone era. It runs on a touchscreen operated tablet that can be upgraded as technology evolves. It needs to be simple so that anyone can operate it without any instruction. That's the idea is that we want this to be universal because currently it's not necessarily universal. They recently tested the new system with LA County voters. They seem to be powering right through it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's still, I guess it's pretty self-explanatory. The machines are designed to accommodate every possible voter, including those in a wheelchair with a visual or hearing impairment and anyone who speaks another language. The new technology is also designed to provide a more flexible voting experience. People will be able to pre-vote at home on a computer or a smartphone. Once you've marked the ballot, you can actually download your choices um, and, and print them out like you would print out a boarding pass. And then take the secure poll pass to the new voting machine. You take it to the machine, you scan it in. Right, I scan it in. Uh, it has the choices that I made when I was at home working on this. I can scroll down. Um, view all those choices to make sure they're as I intended. Whenever you talk about a voting system that has an electronic component, there is always the fear and the question of will it be secure? One of the principles we adopted at, in the early stage of this, of this process is to make sure it's secure and make sure it maintains the integrity. They've done that by keeping a paper ballot, which each voter can verify before it's cast and counted. Now, LA County and IDEO are finalizing the design of the new machines and hope to start using them on a trial basis in 2018. Do you think that this could ultimately result in more people showing up to vote? I do believe in that. I know that if we design an experience well, it will fundamentally change the way we act and behave in society. Yeah, I voted sticker. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, Los Angeles.